welcome to another episode of Quake and Bake. Today I'm going to be making some 3D Minecraft jack-o'-lantern cookies. I'm super excited for today, so let's go ahead and get our cookie dough ready. Once your cookie dough is made, you're going to roll it into a ball and you're going to dye it orange. I'm using these gel dyes, so I'm going to use some red and yellow to create orange. So what you're going to do is create a circle-like shape and create a pit in the middle. Then go ahead and grab some red gel dye. Put it in the middle like so. Then grab some yellow gel dye. And I'm going to put more yellow than red so it can be a little bit on the yellow side. Once you're done with that, just go ahead, fold it in on each other and knead it together until all the color is even throughout the dough. Once you're satisfied with the color of your dough, we're then ready to roll it out. So we're gonna get your square cookie cutter prepared. Any size will do. Mine is kind of small, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and roll it out. You want them about, I would say, one fourth of an inch thick. So let's go ahead and put those on the cookie sheet. And I'm going to continue to cut out these squares. Once you're finished cutting, you should have something similar to this. I have three rows of five, so I'm gonna put them to bake. While the cookies are baking, I am going to prepare the royal icing. If you guys need help making royal icing, I'll annotate out to a video so you can learn. So I have two separate glasses here. I'm going to dye one yellow. This is going to be for the decoration for the cookies. I'm going to dye one purely yellow, and then I'm going to dye one a darker orange. So um, we're going to add yellow and a little bit more red than we did to the cookies. So let's go ahead and dye some yellow. So here is my yellow royal icing. I'm pretty happy with this. It's pretty bright, which is what we want because these are jack-o'-lanterns. These are the pumpkins that have torches in them. And let's go ahead and mix our other colors, see what we get. So while the cookies are hot and fresh out of the oven, I'm going to get a smaller cookie cutter and I'm going to get the three middle. Remember how we had five? I'm going to get the three middle and cut out a square in the center of each of them. Now that you've cut out all the centers of your cookies and they're nice and cool, they should look something like this. And I have my royal icing, I have my yellow in a baggie and a dark orange in the baggie. Also, these center portions that you cut out, don't throw them away. I still have them here. We can use them for something else. They're still cookies, so you can still eat them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to assemble the cookie. So I'm going to grab a cookie that does not have a hole on the bottom, so we're going to place this one here and I'm going to get my yellow royal icing. Uh, because I have more of it, so we're going to use this one as the glue. And I'm going to cut a hole in the baggie. And what we're going to do is just outline the cookie. So let's outline it like this. So we're using the icing. This is going to act as glue to keep the cookies together. So doing that, we're going to place one of the cookies with a hole in the center on top of that and we're going to repeat. So the final one is going to act as the top portion of the cookie, but I'm going to add Tootsie Roll. So I'm going to slit a Tootsie Roll in half and we're going to glue it on top of that with the icing. So we're not going to glue on the top portion, this is just going to act as the top. Since I do have these smaller leftover cookies, I'm going to do the same technique and just make them into little mini pumpkins, but they're not going to be able to be filled with anything. So let's just pipe them on or ice them on. Once your royal icing is dry, you can then turn the pumpkin on its side. You can take the, the top off if you like. We can turn it on its side and then we're going to pipe on the icing. So we're going to pipe on the face on one side of the jack-o'-lantern. So just do it as best as you can. It is a little bit hard and a little bit small surface to work on, but just do the best you can. So I'm going to start with the, the yellow first and then go to the darker orange. So the eyes are kind of like a... Shape. Triangular shape. Let's 
and the mouth is kind of just all scattered around. So let's just make it like he has teeth. Then I'm gonna grab the darker orange, make a hole in the bag, and go along the edges of this. Just like the picture of the Minecraft jack o -lantern. Once you've completed piping on the face, do not flip it over right away. Let it lie there and dry, and then it'll be ready. Once your icing is dry, the last and final step is to add either Skittles or M&Ms inside. So there you guys have it, Minecraft Jack-O-Lantern 3D cookies with M&Ms inside. I am super happy with the outcome of these. These are just really easy, really simple. These would be really good to give away at a Halloween party. Be sure to leave a comment below on what you'd like me to create for next week's episode. If you do try this out yourself, be sure to tweet me an image of it at IS Cupquake. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.